Hi, I'm Marta Zlatic. I'm a group lead at Janilia Research Campus and a lecturer at Cambridge University. I was always uh, in love with literature, especially uh, ancient Greek tragedy and uh, language uh, from very early age. I always wanted to go into neuroscience. Uh, that was always my main passion, but my inspiration was definitely coming from trying to think about how the brain could be performing all of these complex functions. It is an incredible honor to have received the Eric Kandel Young Neuroscientist Prize from the Hertie Foundation in the Fence. Um, it was really gratifying um, and really encouraging and empowering for the future. I'm studying the circuit mechanisms of action selection and of sequence generation. All animals can generate many different actions, and many of these actions are physically mutually exclusive. So the nervous system must have mechanisms by which it both computes the value of each of the alternative actions, and then implements a winner-take-all computation to select only one of the alternatives based on even the slightest net bias and fully repress all competing choices to enable a decisive and unified response of the organism. So we use the Drosophila larva as a model system because we're interested in understanding the circuit implementation of neural computations of action selection and sequence generation. And Drosophila larva has several unique advantages. We can image the entire nervous system with electron microscopy with high enough resolution to visualize synapses and to map distributed large circuits comprehensively with synaptic resolution. It is based on all of this imaging and uh, circuit information. It is possible to generate uh, models of how the circuit motifs contribute to computations. And then, thanks to exquisite genetic toolkit, it is possible to manipulate uniquely identified circuit elements and test the predictions about possible roles of neurons in computations. So part of the Eric Kandel Young Neuroscientist Prize is funding for a scientific cooperation, and we are very excited to cooperate with Dr. Mark Gershow at NYU, who has developed methods for uh, imaging the activity in neurons in freely behaving animals. We have developed methods for um, providing rewards and punishment uh, in response to animals' actions in closed loop. So we're going to combine these two methods together to be able to also image the activity during learning as the animal is learning to associate specific amounts of rewards of punishments with alternative choices.